I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. Hey guys, Scott the phone with Chef Kang, very famous. This is the fourth new restaurant, Daishom. It's comfort food, very similar to Egos. So let's check it out and see if it's any good. Arrived. This place is a little outskirts of Cape Town. It's in Cape Town. It's in Wilton and Wilshire, as you can see here. It's in the strip mall, and not many big tenants here. So I think this might be a tenant for this shopping center, actually. So, Tasum by Chef King. This is ancient. This is his fourth restaurant. I'm super excited about checking it out. So come with me. Oh. Yeah, We're here with Chef Kang, very famous. This is his fifth restaurant, if I remember, yes, right? Yes, yes. So tell me about your concept, why you came up with this, comfort food. It's kind of a new genre now with Ega and stuff yes. like that. Yes, uh, I think some of the followers know that I initially started with a Korean fusion because uh -huh. I thought that would make uh, other nationality more acceptable and more liking to Korean food, but I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what, what I was thinking. I believe in making the traditional Korean food right and um, other nationality will follow naturally instead of trying to like, I, I wouldn't say like a uh, lie, yeah, or like, try to change a little bit to please them, but actually they're the ones that are saying it's not authentic, it's not legit, <laughs> and they're picking on me. It's so crazy because they, say, no. they didn't know authentic food. They yeah. did the research, they're, they're passionate about Korean food. Exactly. So I said, you know, I was so dumb about that. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to do a traditional Korean and make sure the food is authentic and like a food that you would have in Korea. So I did that here and it shows right now it's so crowded it's, for, for lunch on a friday it's yeah. crazy crowded it's, it's the and, but the thing is right now it's 90 percent koreans i know yes and there's a lot of elderly that comes here yes of course and they're very picky i don't know if you've got korean elderly they oh, complain yeah. about everything, everything. <laughs> exactly but they come back two three times a week which means I'm doing something right, right. with yes. Korean food. And what that means is that other people are going to start coming here because Korean people love the authentic Korean food. They're going to, other foodies are going to come here because exactly. they, they want authentic Korean food. Exactly. That's my biggest thing. I've been in Koreatown for almost 20 years now, and the palate has changed. A lot of different restaurants have changed. For yes. Everything's uh -huh. fusion now. But I think going back to the roots of let's make it Korean food authentic. Yes. When I went last two years ago, and I was like, the food in Korea is so much different from the food in K-Town. Exactly. I think that's, I think that's really good. So I'm so excited today. Thank you for uh, welcoming me here today. What are some of the dishes that you want me to try out? You think um, that today I chose a three dishes. One is like a hot pot. It's like a traditional Korean uh, like a chim, which has like uh, ribs and mushrooms and tofu and dumplings and wow. glass noodle on top. It, uh, that serves like four. And oh, also wow. right now the kalbi tang. I don't know if you're familiar with oh, that. It's a short that rib. Thing, that is amazing that's elderly Koreans are like eating it here and having it to go for their family so I know that it's good okay that and the one I picked was a um, what do you call it Korean what is, it's um you can say Korean, Korean it's fine. yeah it's the garbi yeah okay Duk -garbi. Uh, I made that with a more traditional way where a lot of people make it with a ground beef and it doesn't have the right texture. But in Korea, you actually chop beef. So when you chew it, you're tasting like a little bit of the beef steak. Oh, wow. So the texture is different. So I okay. seasoned it and then it comes out and I think you'll enjoy it. Wow, I'm super excited, guys. Do me a huge favor, guys. Subscribe and like this video. Subscribe. Hit like it. this video. Hit it. And this place, <laughs> tell me the name of this name. Pasong. Yeah, what does that mean? Is it's, that it's a Korean word that they used to use like six, seven hundred years ago, uh -huh. meaning love. love. Love of Korean food. That's why I named it here Pasong. Pasong, love of Korean food. Yeah, it's like some of these dishes I'm gonna have reminding my grandma mm -hmm. and brings me back home and nostalgia. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you. Yes, sir. thank you so much. Okay. This video is sponsored by the Jung Agency, a financial services firm, life insurance, retirement planning, wealth management. Our emphasis is minimization of fees, taxation, and risk. So if you're interested, look in the profile or go to jungagency.com. Because it's not fermented and it's a lot of work, so a lot of restaurants don't do it. But hey, we have to make it legit. Yeah.
picked it up. Udi Kujuk, pronouncing it probably wrong, but don't hate. Wow, it looks spicy and it looks delicious. Woo! Dang, this is like round meatball. Let's try this out. It looks really good. It's really hearty as well, look at that. Oh wow, it's delicious. Very tasty. Very watery, but texture, I like the texture. Mm, delicious, two for two. Passion for helping people, hacks, and restaurants, especially new restaurants that need help. I know how hard it is when you're starting a business. I started my business over 12 years ago to get it off the ground, it's challenging. So I'm here to support. So if you have any inquiries, you want me to come out and do a review for your TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube video, you can email me at steven at jungagency.com and go from there. Back to the video. Tostom is a great place. I'm really glad they're going back to the roots of traditional Korean food and it's definitely needed in Koreatown. I had a lot of changes, but that being said, good Korean food authentic from Korea is awesome. Come check this place out. Like and subscribe, guys. Thanks.